Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, a General Murdoch is here. Welcome to Dragon Law Gaming, or Gaming and the Law Intersect. I am your host, Dragon, and we have today General Murdoch Unlock. As you can see, I have unlocked him on the test account, and I'm here to tell you the minimum requirements needed for unlocking General Murdoch. Now, I want to be very, very, very clear here. These are the minimum requirements for unlocking him with... Demons, your first five demons, right? Xantara, Kara, Venomate, Puncher Face, and Mega Wheel. It is minimum requirements, meaning very, very specifically mods, two dot green mods. This is very, very important. If you have better mods than this, you probably can do this at a lower level. Maybe, maybe you can do it at a lower level. But as you can see right now, um, all I have access to on the test account is green dot mods, and I tried to do it with lower than that, uh, lower than two dot green mods, and could not do it. So keep that in mind that we're talking about green two dot mods. If you have lower, you might be able to do it lower than that. If you've gotten some good mods or bought all the mods, that might help you get this done even, even easier and even at lower levels. However, I don't believe the skills, I think you have to have the skills where they are. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about that level 70 across the board. Level 70 across the board here. Uh, Xantara, Kara, Venomate, Puncher Face, and Mega Wheel. Uh, the minimum requirements here, I believe, if with the green dot mods, right, two, two dot green dot mods, are level 70. You have to put in gear 9 and then the blue pieces of each character um, minus 1. And so we'll go through them one by one. So here for Xantara, uh, her skills across the board are 6, 6, 6, and 6. Uh, very, very important. She doesn't have a whole lot of magic damage damage compared to the other healers so she really does need um, to have all her skills up um, uh, demonic um, <laughs> metabolism uh, that's a hard word for me to say can't even get that out at 5 30 in the morning uh, Xantara restores one uh, turn uh, of a random ability at the start of the turn and then restores one turn to a uh, one turn of a random ability to a random ally very very important you need that if it, when it when it hits right it really really helps and of course she'll be able to heal across the board and you really want her to have as much healing as you can so have her all the way up uh, Kara, a lot of people are going to have Kara all the way maxed out, uh, primarily because she's a great character in the game. But if you don't and you're trying to figure out where you got to get her to, this is it. You got to have her basically at 70, uh, sixes across the board. I ran. Uh, let's go back real quick. Look at the mods here, right? Uh, crit chance and damage mods uh, for uh, Xantara. Same same type of thing here, damage mods and um, and potency, um, and then potency of course in the in the south in the south or in the northwest rune. There as well. Put the one green piece. The rest of it I just left because these are tough pieces to get a hold of. Right, you know, outcast, uh, overthrow, dragon veil last hour, or right? demonic mockery. They're kind of a tough. They're tough to get a hold of, um, and so. But you don't need them. This extra last piece here really did help a good bit. Um, and then we go over to Venomate. He didn't have any purple pieces. I could have thrown this one in, right? The dragon robes are not terribly hard to get a hold of. Neither are the ammo's uh, regalia, but... I didn't put them in because I didn't need to. Um, but six is across the board again. And then all all potency and potency in this rune because you want to be able to land those poisons every single time um it's not guaranteed they can still resist but it's when you have your potency up to 80 to almost 83 percent it really really does help um with that Moving on to Puncher Face. Puncher Face, it did put a few extra pieces in because he has a few blue pieces, the Gladiator's Helm, um, his Conqueror's Belt, and then I did go ahead and do the Cloak of the Agent because it's basically all blue mats anyway, and I, I feel like that that's easily farmable. He has 6, 5, 6, and 5. Um, didn't have to have him all the way boosted up for this, uh, but that's where I have him at. Once again, all potency, because you want to be able to land those taunts, right? Inflicting those taunts onto the enemies, um, you want to be able to do that as well. So, very, very, very important, especially if Wonder Lula towards the end, she pops everybody in stealth, you can pop them right out of stealth with that. 
And then we're looking at Mega Wheel. Mega Wheel, he's super important. Gear 9, uh, didn't put any of the other paces in. But what I ended up doing with him is you put in Tenacity. Tenacity on him. His tenacity ended up being um, all the way close to 95%, 94.9%. And the reason for that is because you're going to fight two failures at the end of this thing on tier 7. And they're going to just hit poison after poison after poison on you. And it'll just dwindle him down and kill him so fast. He cannot keep up. So he needs to be resisting um, them. And so that's really, really important. Uh, hit me has to be all the way up. That extra 25% health recovery is necessary and then his basic uh, with the with the change that they've done the up really really helps he does a good bit more damage and I think that's important to have the other two I put them at four I had them lower it wasn't really working I bumped them up to four and it worked just fine uh, so those are the minimum requirements for those others. Let's go ahead and get look at the gameplay as well, and I'll kind of talk you through it a little bit because there's a few things that go on. Um, there's a few things that go on here. So as you can see, you have two failures and you have two sin gels at the top, right? You're gonna want to ha have. You're gonna want to balance out your counter attacks. You want Mega Wheel to be counter attacking constantly as you can see all right he's gonna be in there he's gonna be counter-attacking you're gonna want to attack what i did was i attacked one failure first and then went after the sin gels um, and you're gonna see that watch see i'm landing the poisons right because he's popped out we want to go ahead and taunt and then as you can see he's got two stacks of poison on him i went ahead and just killed them and then i went after the sin gels at this point all right keep in mind that xantara right xantara she can heal pretty well and you don't always have to use her big heal so right here i'm gonna go choose to go ahead and hit and that still heals him up another big hit there by um by kara and you'll see i'm using the basic instead and then using um with uh with puncher face anyway so go ahead and keep going i've defeated him and we're looking at going and going after the other send gel i have not used the big taunt so now here he does not have that's a big part of it um when he doesn't have counter attack i use venomate to give him counter attack and it speeds him up and it is needed as you can see there i bypassed trying to go into taunt or uh, into stealth because i don't need to went ahead and whacked failure for a second i did that because i'm just not going to waste time on the uh, regens watch the regens on the sin gel if they have them there's no reason to attack them they'll just gain back health um, so you just want to skip or passed over the over the region that happens and now we have a little bit of a break um, in the video because I actually got up and uh, did something for a second while I was play testing it so I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit and you're and just, just all you're gonna do is you're gonna see I'm still clicking through the video um, I got up for a few minutes while I was play testing and uh, right and then I came back and finished the rest of it so we're just gonna skip ahead Bear with me. Oh, there we go. Just so everybody can see that we're not... It's all the same video. It's all the same playtesting. But it's very, very important when you see here, right, how to make a decision. I don't have counterattack, but I'm going to go ahead and kill anyway. Really, really, really important here. I'm going to go ahead and just go straight after him. Look, she's going to heal. All right. I'm going to be able to heal here. That's why I taunt um, with Mega Wheel. Very important. As you can see, it's it's tough, right? Here's here's the final. Here's your final phase, okay? And I'm going to pause it here for just a second because you're looking at a pretty tough final phase um, here. What I ended up doing is, uh, and I'll show you. We'll we'll go through it. And I don't honestly remember exactly what I did, but as I, as you can see, went right after the poison. I think I'm gonna go right after Major Shot because he has some great things. But I'm gonna hit Sharp uh, because I don't want him to give too many buffs to everybody else. I'm gonna go ahead and smack Sharp first because he does a ton of damage. Um, he can basically one shot all of my characters. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this on over and give some up and then boom, big, big hit. Right. 
as you can see, we really got to go after, we went after Sharp first, and then we went ahead and got uh, Major Shot down as well, and then we heal. And then we're going to go right after, right after Night Yell, and then we're going to go after uh, uh, Alana. She does so, she's so good, Dialana is. As you can see, we cheat death, and we kill her, and then right on to Wonder Lula. And there you go. I don't want to spoil any of the story. Um, I don't want to spoil any of the story for you guys, but that is it. That is it. That, that, I was able to do it. Um, I was able to unlock a gear 70. So once again, just to recap at level 70, gear 9, the blue pieces of each person in, and the mods that I had. But you're going to invest heavily into skills, especially into Xantara, Kara, and Venomate. Um, but those characters, I'll be honest with you, you're not going to go wrong putting them all the way up to max in the skills because you're going to need, you're going to want those characters. They're good characters. Um, Xantara is going to help you a ton if you don't have Soldius already built up. Um, she's a great healer anyway. Um, so you're going to want her. Kara and Venomate are both bounty hunters. You're going to want them maxed out anyway, and they, they come around a lot in the tournaments. So if you have any questions or anything like that, drop them down in the comments below. I do really do appreciate all the love and support. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.